afternoon is going well so far. I have a very fun activity planned for us to do together. But first, I was hoping maybe we could read through a story. This is one of my favorite books. It's called The First Strawberries. And it's a story that takes place a long time ago before I was around or even before our grandparents were here. I think what I like the most about this story is that it has a very, very important lesson hidden inside. Long ago when the world was new, the creator made a man and a woman. The two of them were made at the same time so that neither would be lonesome. They married and for a long time they lived together and were happy. Then, one afternoon, the man came home from hunting and found that the woman had not yet begun to prepare their meal. Instead, she was out picking flowers. The man grew angry. I am hungry, he said in a cold voice. Do you expect me to eat flowers? Now, the wife too became angry. She had picked those flowers to share their beauty with her husband. Your words hurt me, she said. I will live with you no longer. She turned to the west and began to walk toward the sun. Her husband followed, but her steps were too quick. He could not catch her. He called her name, but she could not hear him. He went as fast as he could, but his wife was much faster. The son watched as the husband followed her. The son saw how sorry the man was and took pity on him. Are you still angry with your wife? asked the son. No, said the man. I was foolish to speak angry words, but I cannot catch her to tell her I am sorry. Then I will help you, said the sun. The sun shone its light down on the earth in front of the woman, and where its light shone, raspberries grew up. The berries were ripe and looked good to eat, but the woman paid no attention to them and continued walking. The sun tried again. It shone down and blueberries grew. They glistened brightly in the sunlight, but the woman paid no attention to them. She only walked on toward the west, leaving her husband farther behind. Now the sun tried a third time. Where its beams touched the earth, blackberries grew up. They were dark and plump, but the woman's anger was too great, and she did not see them. At last, the sun tried its hardest. It shone its light down in the grass right in front of the woman's feet, and strawberries appeared. They glowed like fire in the grass, and the woman had to stop when she saw them in front of her. She knelt down and plucked one and bit into it. She had never tasted anything like it before. Its sweetness reminded her of how happy she and her husband had been together. I must gather some of this fruit for my husband, she said, and she began to pick the berries. She was still picking them when the man caught up to her. Forgive me for my hard words, he said to her and she answered him by sharing the sweetness of the strawberries. So, it was that strawberries came into this world. To this day, when the Cherokee people eat strawberries, they are reminded to always be kind to each other, to remember that friendship and respect are as sweet as the taste of ripe red berries. Today's story was all about strawberries, so I thought it might be fun to do a craft based on that. For this activity, you will need colored construction paper or cardstock, a pair of scissors, glue and or tape depending on what you have at home, and a black marker. The first step is to outline your berry. I chose to do a strawberry based on the book, but if you remember, the sun also talked about blueberries and blackberries and raspberries, so it's really up to you which one you choose. I used a black marker to do this, and then I also use this marker to outline my hands on a green sheet of paper. And these will actually end up being the leaves to our berry. 
Once all of your pieces are cut out, you can start assembling them. So as you can see in this picture, I started by taking my red berry and placing it on the table. And then I took my two handprints and I placed them up at the top to look like the leaves of the strawberry. You might also notice a little rectangle at the top and I just used some extra scrap paper to create a stem. Now that everything is glued or taped together, your berry is almost done. The final step is to take a black marker and draw little seeds on your berry like I did here. I also decided to write a little message on mine. Today's story was all about kindness and respect in relationships. So to make sure I remembered that lesson, I wrote on my berry that kindness always starts with me.